Um, so we're in Glasley to do the Italy Bloomway. This is trail number 39 for us out of 42. We are pretty close to the end now. <sighs> pretty excited actually. So uh, there's our first Elvis, like literally right there. It's uh, about 75 kilometers long in a big circle. If you can call like this yellow line a circle around the Italy Blue Mountains. My impression of it is that it is going to be extremely up and downy. Um, it's one of the very few trails that are actually marked as strenuous or hard um, on irishtrails.e and it is, I think, the one that has the least amount of road. So I'm pretty excited for that because our last couple of trails have been quite road heavy. So I'm quite excited to have less road um, and less hard surface in general. Um, the other good news is that this one is, um, I believe it's allowed to camp on this one, right? Is yeah. Is it allowed to camp on this trail? Does it say it? I feel like I should say it here, but even, either way, I don't think we're going to have a hard time camping on this one. So, um, I'm pretty excited. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Good. Anything else that I should be saying? No, it's all good. Okay, well, let's do trail number 39. So when we've been walking, so the trails we've walked this year so far have been mostly road and you might have seen me complain quite a lot about the trails not going off-road onto some really nice foresty bit. This trail does go off-road onto some really nice foresty bit and I actually cannot contain my joy at seeing like wooden steps. So exciting. Also, I'm gonna like fall into the tree and die. clearing here um, it would be a good spot to camp however there's a bit of rubbish around which is a bit sad and when people made this fire they didn't use a like a fire pan so if you're gonna make a campfire outdoors what you should really consider doing is getting like literally a, um, you know like an oven what are those called like a baking tray like a baking tray literally a baking tray and put it underneath your fire your fire shouldn't be on the ground itself because it, the heat goes down and it kills a lot of stuff in the ground and it scars the ground itself. Um, but they did do a pretty good job with some stones and stuff. So, I mean, I give them that. It's just a pity that there's some rubbish left over. Um, yeah, I don't know. We never do campfires because leave no trace. It's dinner time. I don't know why I'm standing up. Wow. Um, this is uh, the River Barrow. Uh, the source of the Barrow is actually maybe 10 kilometers that way. Um, the Barrow, of course, of the Barrow Way. Um, what a big long river. One of, I think it's competing for a title of second longest Irish river after the Tana with the Nore and the Shore. I think they're both all very close, different lengths. Okay, I'm being eaten by midges. It's very pretty, I like it a lot. There's a nice waterfall and stuff. So we've got a little bit of a junction here. That way would bring us, it does look super nice, it would bring us to the, like a car park. Um, so we're not gonna go that way. This way continues the loop. That does look super nice though. Anyway, there's so many midges.
Oh my god, this is superb. What a great job they've done here. This is honestly fantastic. One of the best spots that we've been to. Um, oh my god, it's brilliant. Except for the rain. But so there's these like viewpoint thingies here that show you like in really nice detail all of the mountains and stuff in the distance. Oh, it's just great. It's really, 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 really good. I'm really impressed by how they've done this. Good work. So, uh, because we left quite late this morning, um, and by left quite late, I mean we started walking at two or so. Um, it's now, what time is it? Uh, it's like half nine? Uh, uh, ten past nine. It's ten past nine. Um, but the sun is setting. We're kind of in a bit of a race against the sun now to find a decent spot to camp um, before it gets dark and cold. Um, oh, we might have found one actually. That was easy. Um, yeah, the walking has been really, really good. Anyway, okay, camping. Okay, well, um, we are now in no man's land between County Leash and County Offaly. Um, Loffaly? Off. Off leash. Anyway, um, I mean, it's our second day. We've been walking now for like two and a half hours, something like that. It's been very, very, very rainy, so we haven't gotten much film. The walking has been great, um, quite uphill, I'm pretty tired. How tired are you, Ellie? Yeah. Yeah, Ellie is yes tired. Um, so we're going to keep going. Um, we're actually already on, so this, this trail has five maps. Um, we have done most, uh, well some of map one, map two, map three, map four, and now we're on map five. So we have like map five and map one to do again, um, to finish the loop. This is pretty exciting, we've actually done a lot of walking so far, um, but it's hard to know at what point we're just going to hit the wall um, and need to like sit down. But yeah, on we go. So we're in the town of Kennedy, um, which is attached to Kennedy Castle. Um, Kennedy Castle is over there, we're going to go past it later on, on this trail. So the weather is pretty horrendous actually. It turns out, maybe we should have checked this beforehand, but it turns out that there's a yellow uh, weather warning for rain. Ellie is like shivering. Put your hand on the table so you don't... Uh, it turns the, out that there's... Um, the, weather warning, the weather warning was only issued this morning. Okay, so the weather warning was issued this morning for this rain. Um, so we're pretty soaked. 
Um, nowhere in this town is open for us to have a pint or a coffee, so I don't know how we're gonna live for the rest of the day. Um, the next town on is Caddams Town, which we've been in before, and it didn't really look like there's anything more. And it's a good like 12 or 15 kilometers away. Um, it looks like it's a good like 12 or 15 kilometers away, and we only walked about three kilometers since it turned like this, and it was awful. So I don't know what we're gonna do now. We could stay here, but yeah, we're gonna have to figure out what to do. That's all I got. Let's go. So what happened at the end of the Sleep Doom Way is that um, there was a yellow rain warning. It was absolutely drenched. We'd sat at this kind of pub, I like the outdoor seating area of a pub that wasn't open yet for about an hour. Um, and the rain just hadn't let up at all. And we were kind of figuring, trying to figure out what to do because the rain maybe was going to get better tomorrow. Probably not. Um, and then, as we were sitting there trying to figure out what to do, we were like about to book a B and B in the town um, to wait it out until tomorrow. This is like a, you know, two o'clock or something. Um, a local link bus drives by, and we have always had good experiences with the local link buses. It it's just a very useful way of getting around uh, rural Ireland. And so we <laughs> flagged it down. We're like, "Where are you going?" And he was like, "Bear," which is. Um, the coldest town in Ireland. Um, it's just a, it was kind of a bigger town near there and it was sort of a snap decision and I thought okay well look we can either go home today and come back on a sunny day or we can wait around until tomorrow spend 70 euro on a B&B and then potentially the weather isn't any better um, and at best it is only a little bit better. So um, I just said yeah sure. Um, Ellie was not quite as enthused about it but I mean, it's one of those things, you know? So we'll come back to finish the Schlieff Boom Way in uh, probably not that long. I mean, we don't have that much time to put it off. So meet us back here for the Schlieff Boom Way part two. Okay, well, we're um, back on the Schlieff Boom Way. Um, last week we did the first, I don't know, 50 kilometers of this trail, and uh, then we got completely washed out. So now we're back, in better weather, which is good. I'm excited. That's it. Enjoy the rest of this video. So the tagline for this region, kind of the tourist tagline, is Ireland's hidden heartlands. And honestly, like I, that's pretty on the like on the button. Like this is very hidden. I would never have thought that this area would be so beautiful. It's so great. This is such a good trail. It's honestly one of the best trails that we've done. Um, just perfect, constantly. We've done such a great job here. I'm really impressed. What a nice area. Um, if you watch the Offaly Way video, uh, I said that I would look back from the Sleep Loom Way onto the Offaly Way. It is behind me right now. The Offaly Way is, I think, fully in view at the moment. Um, I think it's just like there, which is cool. It's nice to see old trails from new ones. Even if the trail isn't all that old? Yeah, even if we did the Offaly Way like three weeks ago, recently. Yeah. 
the sleep rooms you get a really nice view off of them because the ground surrounding them are so is so low. Yeah. Also look at this trail, this is great. So we're walking along the Silver River, which is uh, the river that flows through Adams Town. And if you continued walking on the Silver River, you'd do the Offaly Way. And I actually cannot recommend this bit of river walking highly enough. It's brilliant, genuinely brilliant. Like some of the best river walking we've ever done. Um, we've done really a lot at this point. Just the care that they've put into it, all of the trail furniture. It's just really, really great. It's really great. I'm really, really great. I mean, I guess we can't always escape the weather. I, this is an incredible place regardless of the rain though. It's just brilliant. Also, an info board with like a roof. Amazing. Love this place. I really love it. So, just there, that green area and that car park, that is the start of the Offaly Way. This is Caddams Town. We were here very recently and uh, yeah, our trail goes that way. We came from over there. Um, yeah, so the Schlieve Blooms are the largest um, national park in the country, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, and it really, really shows. We have seen so much wildlife. It's been so cool. Um, we haven't really got any video of it because uh, partially they're far away, like deer or fox, or whatever. They move very fast. And also you just kind of want to enjoy that moment of experiencing this like beautiful creature run across the trail um, but yeah we've seen foxes like multiple foxes multiple deer um, a load of birds of prey uh, yeah it's really cool there's like so much and so many like birds everything yeah lots of stuff it's really cool it's really really nice here that didn't look so bad We can now bring coffee with us. This is revolutionary. <laughs> Who would have known? We can get like small flasks. Anyway, yeah, that bridge over there, that's the bridge that we crossed on day one. We have completed the Schlieff Bloom Way. <laughs> I almost forgot the name. Uh, so that's trail 39 out of the 42. So that's really, really exciting. That's, yeah. That's so cool to be able to say. We've done 39 trails. Um, like, it was all pretty fantastic. I know we almost got washed away, but like we had the most amazing time on this trail. It was so good, so nice. So little on road, so many benches, like what I'm sitting on right now, picnic benches. Um, yeah, so much off road. Like we did, like we we did a couple of kilometers here and there, but nothing to really mention. Yeah, like absolutely fantastic. Do I really give this trail a ten out of ten? I, I mean, I would give it the max that we've given any other trail out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if ten is like an unattainable number, as in like. Mm. 
but uh, we didn't really uh, build a scoring system when we started this. We just randomly happened to grade a trail out of 10. Like this trail is up there with the Kerry Way, the Jingle Way, the Miner's Way, like all of our top trails, this is one of them. This is in that same bracket. It's been great, loved it so much. Thank you to Theo for driving us out here on uh, day one. Uh, thank you to the random local link driver who stopped and shouted burr at us um, and saved us from the rain. And then huge thanks to Jean O'Neill um, for dropping us out today to finish it and collecting us from the end in a while. Um, she and Brona are fantastic. Thank you so much. And yeah. Yeah, so I'd like to say a huge thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Patreon is a like crowdfunding, crowdsourcing uh, platform, so people support us every month. And through their support, we've been able to continue this project. So some super, super incredible people on that. Thank you all so much. Um, this week, I'd like to say an extra special thank you to Mike Boyd and to Gene O'Neill. And uh, yeah, this is it for now. On top of having like one of the best trails in the country, we've also got some of the best trips in the country. That's that place over there. Well done, that place. Mm -hmm. There's a tiny little ladybird here with yellow spots. On closer inspections, these are loafers. <laughs> Filming? Yeah. Yeah, I've put in that clip of um, Rainier Wolf Castle in The Simpsons. Yeah. What a terrible episode, but what a good quote. Yeah. It's the one with the critic, which is like a really short lived uh, John Lovitz show in like 1994. They did a crossover, it's one of like two Simpsons crossovers um, in the early seasons, and it's just very poor. And it's the only one that doesn't have Mike Groening's name on it. Because he, he would refuse to be involved in a crossover with the show he thought was crap. But it has a really good quote in it, and it's on closer inspections, he's out of us. It's like your shoes are untied. You know? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Important trail knowledge. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping I cast a midge on me because I could. Oh, point two? Yeah. <laughs> so many midges.